Football season is here, and as an uncle to two nephews that both play youth football, Max, Max, get down. They always are asking, can you record my games? Can you take pictures? So, but you have to do something for me. I've been able to do it in the past, but it's been a clunky way of doing it. But if you want to live stream the games, it's something that a lot of parents and family members wouldn't mind seeing. If they're not able to attend the game live, they could watch the live stream of the game. Now, in order to make this happen, I'm gonna be using the YOLO Box Pro specifically. And now that YOLOcast is available, it makes it even easier to live stream the games because I don't necessarily have to live stream them to my social media. Specifically, we're gonna be doing a live stream football game using the combination of the YOLO Box Pro and the YOLOcast system. Right now will be my setup time. In order to get this all set up, we're gonna go into the YOLO Live website, click on start free, but I already have a YOLO account, so it's gonna automatically log me into the system. Now, in order to set this up, we're going to go up to create live event and we're going to title the event. Now, for the thumbnail image, I'm going to click on choose image, upload a recent picture that they took for one of their scrimmage games. And that's him. We're going to scroll down into our streaming method and we're going to be actually streaming from the YOLO Box Pro itself. Now, I'm going to select my video resolution, which is actually going to be 1080p and we're going to stream at 60 frames per second because this is a sporting event and they action does happen fast and then our start date will actually be tomorrow these games are typically two hours two and a half hours so we'll go ahead and give ourselves some extra time and we'll just say four o'clock like i'm going to make it public and then also put that link in the description so you can see what that actually looks like as a viewer if you're using the yolocast now for the destination, I'm gonna leave this blank because we are actually gonna be using the YOLO Live website that they provide for events. And now we're gonna select create event. And now our event is created. We're gonna go into the edit section of the actual event. And here, if we need to make any adjustments, we can do so after we get more information about the team, the opponent that they're playing, or any of the streaming settings that we might need to change. If there's an adjustment for the time, start time of the game, we can do all of those adjustments that we just looked at in the initial phase of the setup process. So we're gonna go ahead and close this out, click on the actual event itself. And this is the information that allows us to really share it out with the public. The main option that I'm always looking for initially is the view on YOLO Live site. So if I click on the copy button, and paste it in a new browser tab here at the top. This would be what the viewers would see if they're watching this live stream. So I'm gonna paste this specific link in the video description of this YouTube video so that you guys can actually go back and check out the game and make sure you put in hashtag 16 because that's my nephew's football jersey number and make sure that you guys help not only support him, but you're also supporting this channel by engaging in the chat section. And if we want to promote this on our email list, Facebook, Twitter, we can do that as well. There's also an embed code. So if we have a website that we want to stream this event, we can do that inside of that website specifically. Now in the recording control section, you see there are quite a few different controls that you have access to after your live stream event has ended. One of the controls that's most important to me is the ability to download the video after it's completed from the live stream. I also like to have a backup, which means recording directly to the YOLO Box Pro itself. I can put in my SD card, record on the YOLO Box while I'm live streaming, and then also use the recording from the live stream itself from YOLOcast. So I have multiple backup systems in place all from this one easy to use device. I don't have to lug a whole bunch of equipment along with me and I'll probably be using my wireless HDMI system which will make it even easier so I'm not running cables and let the camera and the YOLO box do all the heavy lifting. There is another very important control for sporting events and that would be the actual scoreboard. And as the game is playing, we can actually show the score on the screen. I'm gonna show you what it looks like to charge charge or have viewers donate to the live stream. So we're gonna go back to our previous window and go back into the edit section of this particular live stream. 
and we're gonna go into the advanced tab one more time. And one of the options is to enable donations. Now, once you select enable donation, you can place the website of where you want people to be directed to lead their donation. Make sure that you have the full correct URL so that you actually receive the financial donations. We'll go ahead and select update. And as we scroll down, we see that we now have a donate button in the bottom right hand corner. And once someone selects donate, it would take them out to that donation page. Now that we have the event set up and scheduled on YOLOcast, let's jump into the YOLO box itself to make sure that we have it set up on this end. From the home screen of the YOLO box, we're gonna select the plus sign, create live stream, title this, pretty much the same thing as we did in YOLOcast. Unfortunately, at this time, we're unable to directly connect and see the event that's already scheduled in the YOLOcast system. So we do have to create a separate event here and connect the two. We'll select done. Once we have that set up, we'll actually go into the event itself. We'll select YOLOcast. And here we can see that we have found the event for tomorrow's live stream. This event will go live on YOLOcast at the scheduled time. So that's great. So we'll select done there. And then we'll go under our settings tab here. And the one that we really wanna make sure is enabled is our streaming mode, making sure that we're using our YOLO live platform service. Let's also make sure that we look at encoding settings and making sure that we have our frame rate adjusted to 60 frames per second because that's what we're gonna be streaming out to the Yellowcast system. And I believe that is all the settings that we really need along with the cameras. So let's jump over into the actual pregame. Let's set up everything and then get ready for this first football game of the new season. All right, we are going to grab our PTZ Optic 20X Hollyland 400S Pro PTZ Power Yellow Box Pro. Attach it with Yolanzi Clan. I'll we'll plug the mic in. Sure, headphone. Connect this into our rock piles UPS units. Power for our camera. Transmitter needs to be attached to our camera as well. And then our receiver is going to go into our yellow box here locally. All right, so camera's on. Get our receiver turned on. I think it's like eight feet or something. Up at the top, we got our PTZ camera that we'll be using to film the game. Shotgun microphone up there. Our transmitter, Hollyland 400S Pro transmitter. Wirelessly sending the signal down into here and of course we got the receiver to the hollylands down here at the bottom got our headphones we are going to be recording using the yellow box pro going to go out to our yellow website here so let go live Game over. Everything went well. Two hour live stream using the Yolo Box Pro and Yolo Cast. Now it's time to pack everything up. And of course, our team won 26 to 6. So if this video was helpful for you for live streaming your events, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.